Hey, Brian from Garage Mahal. Today I have the X-Tool D7. This thing is pretty awesome. So let's open up and see everything that we get inside. So the fact this comes in a case is great. So let me just flip that around. Okay, so that. let's open this up, see what we get inside. So that's your quick start guide. And then this is the computer. Pretty small and compact, not too bad. So that is your hook up to your controller, and then that is your OBD2 connector. So let's connect this first. And most connectors are underneath your steering wheel, underneath the panel. Okay, I love that's a nice compact size. And then this goes into the back. I'm just kind of screw that down a little bit. And then that should automatically turn on It'll tell you where your battery power is. You have your startup button there. So you just hold that in real quick. And then it'll start it for you. So obviously it has a bunch of different language formats on it. So quick setup. So it's gonna be looking for your Wi-Fi connections. So after you're connected to your Wi-Fi, you can go back and then it'll start initialize configuration. So make sure you have a Wi-Fi connection. So if you're out in the field and you have to use this, you can connect to your Wi-Fi connection through your phone, through a tethering application. So you can register or you can log in. So after you log in, you have a cool screen that has basically all your tests that you're going to be able to want to access. So like you have an oil reset, um, emergency parking brake reset. That's like if you have one of those electronic e-brakes, um, TPMS reset, EPS adaptation. I mean, it's just so many things. Airbag reset if you have airbag issues. Um tire size reset so if you put a different tire size on you can enter that stop start reset trip transport mode I mean it you can do so much in. so like um, ABS bleeding is another special function we can go back out to the main menu and so this is basically like your auto scan your diagnostic so you hit that and it will automatically go through and then you can basically select what you want to do. So like, we're just going to do like a basic OBD2, but it has very a lot of very specific scans for a lot of different uh, makes and models out there as well. So we'll just do a quick OBD2 scan. And this would be if you have like a stubborn check engine light or you have a sensor, you're not sure what's going on. You can get into here and see everything that it does. Okay, so once we're in here, there's a couple different menus you can choose we're just going to do an auto scan so read trouble codes clear trouble codes 
live data so you can actually if you had a passenger with you you can go out into the road and get all live diagnostic um, data from that we'll do that in a second but we're going to read trouble codes um, stored codes pending codes permanent codes so it gives you a choice and a selection on that so let's go for like permanent codes so no permanent codes are found stored codes none are found um, so it's good for my vehicle so clear trouble codes if you wanted to you could go in there if you want to clear trouble codes uh, it will clear all emissions diagnostic information so you can go in there and basically just clear all that so if you had a check engine light on it would go out with that your live data mode this I have found to be an invaluable tool whereas I can see all live information on whatever modules I want all right so you can basically select any module that you wanted to and then you can go into a record mode and record that but basically you're getting like live data so that is your engine rpm so you can see how that is showing vehicle speed sensor obviously we park so you're not going to see that ignition timing it's going to give you all this information oxygen sensor output voltage so if you're having like an emissions issue, an oxygen sensor, you can look up and see what voltage yours is supposed to be putting out, compare it to the live data. So, I mean, absolutely awesome. Live data is so invaluable when it comes to diagnosing like a lot of different problems, fuel injector issues, uh, ambient air temperature, so you can see where that's registering, absolute throttle position, just to name a few. A vehicle odometer so you can actually see what the odometer reading is uh, digitally compared to what you have inside the vehicle so pretty pretty awesome impactful and like I said if you want to get back to the the screen you got a bunch of different things so it kind of works like an Android tablet as well so you have uh, Chrome so you can do some uh, internet exploring on any issues you have going on Adobe Acrobat, so you can read any manuals that you get online. You have email functionality, uh, your clock, contacts, calendar, uh, sound recorder. So if you're having like some weird engine sounds and you want to like record it and send it to somebody, you can do that. Um, and again, a gallery, you got video, so you can take pictures as well as video. Um, and back into diagnostics, and then this, again, this just has a wealth of of information and scans that you can do in here. Practically endless, lots of models of vehicles you can go into. And again, you can go back, you can do special functions. And that is where that menu is. It gives you just, just a multitude of different functions that you can get into. Your reports, you have updates too, so you can go in and get updates on it. I'm not gonna press that because once you do that, you gotta go through all the updates, but important after you get this started, I would definitely go into that. You have an X tool button that brings you right to their website. So you can you know get more updates and diagnostic reports and all sorts of stuff in there. But again, it's just like there's so much to this. But anyway, uh Brian from Garage Mahal, thanks for watching and be safe out there.